Hi, this is TCP and Gaming, and you're watching Development Hell, the show where we talk about games that just can't get released on time. With today's game, let me take you back to 2013. Obama had just been inaugurated for his second term, Edward Snowden was leaking secrets, and Lance Armstrong, yeah, Lance Armstrong, admitted to doping. Damn, 2013 was kinda wild. Well, anyways, as far as the game landscape go, we have the original release of The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, we have the Tomb Raider reboot, the original Stanley Parable, The Wolf Among Us, Disney's Infinity, and a lot of other games were coming out. But there was one little game that caught everyone's eye in 2013 at Gamescom. A little game called Routine. When they first showed the trailer of Routine, I and a lot of other people immediately got an alien isolation slash amnesia vibe from it with its retro futuristic aesthetics and its sterile space station setting and environments. It was made by a small company called Lunar Software and it looked amazing. Then it just kind of went radio silent for nearly a decade. To put that into perspective, between this trailer and you know, now. The Last of Us released Part 2, and even remade Part 1. Telltale Games, the people who were behind Wolf Among Us, went out of business. The Stanley Parable received a deluxe version. Infinity is dead. But surprisingly, we, we are still playing GTA 5, so that's, that's kind of strange. <laughs> so why the radio silence? Well, according to the developers, they weren't satisfied with the direction the game was heading in. Quote, as we were approaching what we believed to be the end of development, we were finding more and more things that we weren't happy with that negatively impacted the experience. We had worked on this project for five years, at that point, and simply could not release it as it was. We were surviving on an extremely tight budget. The financial stress began taking a toll on us, especially as we realized we needed to work on things for a lot longer. Routine at this point became a part-time project as we had to work on other jobs and projects to stay afloat. We went from having a release date to not even knowing what we might be able to release. It was a massive strain on us and we had to let ourselves, our friends, and family, as well as our supporters and fans, down. Well, it looks like whatever woes they had before are a thing of the past. Because as of June 9th of 2022, at the Summer of Games hosted by our boy Jeff Keighley, we got a new trailer. They seem to be committed to the retro futuristic aesthetic and I think that's for the best. I mean, the trailer looks amazing, and I, for one, can't wait to play it. But let's just hope it's not stuck in development hell for another 10 years. Please, 